When we talk about energy efficiency, you may think of energy saving light bulbs or not leaving your appliances on standby. But the largest contributor to energy bills are usually your heating and hot water systems. If you don't set them up properly, you may be using more energy than you need. So I'm going to talk you through some simple tips which will help you reduce your energy usage and more importantly save you money. The first step is identifying which controls you've got in your home. The right controls will let you set your heating and hot water to come on and off when you want them. Or set how warm you want each area of your home to be. Let's have a look at the room thermostats. Room thermostats control the overall temperature throughout your home, not just the room they're in. Turning your boiler on and off when it gets to the right temperature. This works for both radiator and underfloor heating systems. Set it somewhere between 18 and 21 degrees C. Bet you didn't know you could save 5 to 10 percent on your gas consumption for every degree you turn it down. When your home reaches the temperature that you've set, your heating will temporarily turn off, saving you energy and money. If you haven't got a room thermostat, I'd recommend one. This is a radiator, and these are thermostatic radiator valves, or TRVs. If you've got them in your main living space, and your room thermostat is located there too, they should be turned to max. If your room thermostat is located elsewhere, then set your TRV to a temperature that you find comfortable. In other rooms, I suggest turning them down, warm enough so they prevent damp, but not so high that you're heating the room for no need. Lowering your radiators goes just a little way to reducing your energy bill. If radiators heat your home, I'd suggest setting the timer 15 to 30 minutes before you want them nice and warm, and off about 30 minutes before you go to bed or leave home in the morning. If you have underfloor heating, I'd recommend setting the timer to come on 45 minutes before you need it on, and off about 15 minutes before you really need it off. Here's three boilers. The first one is a back boiler which usually sits behind your gas fire. The next is a conventional boiler, which comes with a separate water tank and only one temperature control for both hot water and heating. And the third one is a combi boiler, with separate temperature controls for hot water and heating. Click on the one that looks most like yours and I'll show you how to set it up efficiently. 